Hey, welcome back to Middle Tea again. So in this video, we actually we got speaking topic, and I'm going to tell you everything in this video, and also you're gonna learn something very uh, particularly expressly things in English. You're gonna got three things. That could be uh, the first one about you know you will learn some vocabularies in my video, and you will learn how I can how I describe some things in English. All right. Just like uh, the phrases and you know, whatever in English that you will learn in this video. Okay, so let's begin with our topic. Today we actually got uh, the topic about describing the coffee you like or you dislike. That is the topic, but I will tell you the coffee I like or I dislike Okay, in this video. All right. Yes, the fast pace of modern life in the cities can be too much for an introvert like myself. And I sometimes, I desire, like sometimes retire into my shell and take a little retreat. Fortunately, I found the perfect place to, is called um, Secrets Garden, which I am going to share with you guys right now. The Secrets Garden is a garden themed coffee shop located on the rooftop of a building in the center of Kipping. Yes, the coffee is well known for its floral and bandicore inspired design, which gives you a sense of uh, peace and tranquility while enjoying some cakes and coffee at the same time. I became frequently guest there and just lay go on the weekend. My favorite activity in the sh coffee shop uh, reading books while listening to relaxing instrumental music, having a warm cup of tea with um, cookies, yeah, or simply just sitting in the exterior garden and enjoying the view. Despite being populous, the coffee shop is still about to manage a quiet and soft atmosphere. Yeah, you know, uh, the sittings. The sitting is perfect with relaxing music and the staff also are very really well trained and cater to the guest needs quite well. You know, other guests are usually really respectful and don't disturb the other people by talking or um, laughing too loudly. Yes. It's rare to find a place just like this in Phnom Penh. And I always recommend it to my friends who need a break from the busy city life. That said about the video, uh, um, speaking topic today, describing a coffee, a coffee you like, you dislike, and explain why you like it or you dislike. Okay, that's it about the video. And also, you're gonna learn about some vocabulary, you're gonna uh, pin down, uh, drop here. Okay, so the Okay, so after that, we learn about um, some vocabulary or highlights to its vocabularies that I uh, have spoken recently in the videos or many minutes ago. Okay, we're going to learn the word or the phrase. Fast pace. So fast pace, that means high speed, something very fast. And about retire into my shell. Retire into my shell, that means you're going to spend time alone. Yeah, that is about a word. And about themed. Themed. So themed, that means related to certain idea. I mean specific or main idea. All right, we get a call like themes coffee shop. Yeah, that could be the example you actually hear before earlier, right? And also it's like uh, the word introvert. Introvert is a person who who prefer to be quiet or spend time alone. All right, rather than speak with the people oftenly, that is called introvert. And I, one of her uh, introverts. Okay, that means I prefer to be quiet sometimes, just like that. Okay, and about the word exterior. So exterior, that means the outside. All right, like a floral. Floral, that means made of flowers. And under one L, um, yeah, botanical. Botanical is an adjective just like the same, the floral. Yeah, botanical, that means uh, of flowers. 
that mean uh, you know the 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 study scientific study of uh, flowers something like that, and uh, the setting the setting that mean the room or uh, you know the place that that mean that you you going to uh, go to stay or doing something I don't know okay and about the rare 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 the rare is an adverb that mean very uncommon okay. And uh, instrumental music, that means music doesn't have any words or uh, any li lyrics. Okay, that is called like instrumental music. And about the word atmosphere, atmosphere that means the feeling surrounding something, all right? That's gonna be like a peaceful, a quiet atmosphere. That means, you know, uh, the feelings around you look like quiet or simple. Yeah. And the last one is uh, tranquility. So tranquility is a uh, the noun that means a uh, peaceful, quiet, you know, something peaceful or uh, peaceful or quiet. That means you enjoy that so much because it looks like a uh, quiet or peaceful. Yeah. So that's it about uh, vocabulary that you're going to learn in my video, and also it's like the topic today. We actually, I already mentioned. Uh, that's it about um, speaking topic like describing. Yeah, that's it. The video. So hopefully you guys go to follow me on TikTok. Effortless English by the T. Uh, go to like my page and uh, follow my page. Effortless English by the T. And also go to join my channel Telegram. Effortless English by the T as well. Everything about English. I gotta help you guys to speak English faster, easier, and more very advanced in English as well. Okay, go to speak. Go to build your spoken English every day by watching my video. Go to share for those who actually learn about English. That's gonna help. Can okay, they have a lot? You cannot do anything else to hear the body, right? But the way you're going to share and like my video, that's gonna help me a lot. It means a lot to me. So that's why I really appreciate you guys doing just like this activity. Make sure that you're going to like, share my video. Okay. Hopefully, see you in the next episode, in the next video. Bye bye.